Scientific notation is a technique for working with very large and very small numbers. It's very commonly used in the sciences, as the name suggests. And in relativity, we're going to be um, working with both some very large and very small numbers, so I thought reviewing scientific notation would be a good idea. Uh, many of you who have taken uh, science classes recently are probably very familiar with scientific notation, in which case you should skip this video. You might want to go ahead and just check uh, your understanding of scientific notation on the scientific notation quiz if you're not sure. Okay, so scientific notation um, uses powers of 10. So 10 to the 0 is defined to be 1. 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 squared is 10 times 10. That's 100. 10 cubed is 10 times 10 times 10. That's 1,000. And we can start to see the pattern. 10 to the 2 has two zeros. 10 to the 0 has zero zeros. 10 to the 1 has one zero, and so on. So we can use this fact to write large numbers in a simpler way. So let's say we have 2,500. And granted, that's not a difficult number to work with. But suppose we wanted to turn that into scientific notation. Well, 2,500 is the same as 2.5 times 1,000. And 1,000 is 10 to the 3. So I could write this like this. And this would be scientific notation for that. So we're just um, using powers of 10, like so. Um, to use another example, it turns out that this is the speed of light, approximately. And that's a lot of zeros to write. Um, easy to make a mistake, just nothing else. It takes a lot of time and ink resources to write all these zeros. So we can write this um, more compactly as follows. All right, how many zeros do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so eight zeros. I have to move over, uh, there's a decimal point there, I'll move up to the left eight. So this is three times ten to the eight meters per second. And we can do arithmetic and multiplication with scientific notation. So let's do a quick example. So let's say, I don't know, we have 3 million. That's 3 times 10 to the 6. And for some reason, we need to multiply that by this number. OK, so multiplication, this is 3 times this times this times this. We can multiply in any order we want. 3 times 2.5 happens to be 7.5. So I'm going to write this like this. This is 7.5. And then these exponents you would add. 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 3 is 10 to the 9, because 6 plus 3 is 9. Oops, that should be a time. So this is 7.5 times 10 to the 9. So that's the answer in scientific notation. And you could also, of course, do that directly on your calculator. And everybody's calculator is a little different. Here's how I might do that on mine. 3, this E button, I would read as times 10 to the 6, times 2.5, this E double E button, times 10 to the 3, and 7.5 times 10 to the 9, which is the number that we got there. You might want to take a second, either now or when you're doing the quiz, to make sure that you know how your calculator works with scientific notation. They're all a little different. Um, and if you have trouble getting scientific notation into your calculator, um, let me know. Someone can help you. It's important that you're comfortable with scientific notation now because it's going to come up again and again later in the course. Scientific notation is also useful for very small numbers, and here's how to think about that. 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the minus 1 is 1 over 10. 
and 1 over 10 is 0.1. 10 to the minus 2 is 1 over 10 squared. So that's from the general property of exponents. Say that 10 to the minus a is the same thing as 1 over 10 to the a. So that's what minus or negative exponents mean. Uh, so 10 to the minus 2, 1 over 10 squared, 0 0.01. 10 to the minus 3, 0 0.001, and so on. And the pattern here, minus 1 means um, one spot to the right of the decimal, minus 2 is two spots to the right of the decimal, and so on. So let's do an example. 0 0.00012. How would I write that in scientific notation? Let's see. So I start here, I go over 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going 4 to the right of the decimal. So that's 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. So following this video is a quiz where you can check your understanding of scientific notation. So if you haven't seen scientific notation for a while or you're not sure, I'd recommend trying that quiz before going on.